Hey everybody, this is Luke Darnall, back with another Supreme Content video. Super psyched to be doing this still. Still loving you guys. Happy Halloween. I got my Riddler jacket on. Um, I had to do something. Um, I wasn't gonna... I had a mask and everything too, but I figured you guys want to see my face and all that. Uh, so I just got the OG Riddler uh, jacket on. But yeah, happy Halloween, and let's go ahead and dive into this. So... We got the Rotary Hero Sticker Bricks Stool Slash Side Table. This is fire for the price. Um, $248. That's, that's probably one of the most fairest prices I've seen for a while. Um, it offers utility. It actually will be used quite often if in the right spot in your house or garage or wherever. Um, side tables uh you use them so often um or you know you need them so often you know once you're a homeowner and i am still a very recently um am a new homeowner and something like this uh definitely dope um unfortunately i don't need an end table or a side table um so i'm gonna be skipping on this because i want a couple more items and we'll get to that but for the price this is a very solid hold very solid investment um, and this will certainly appreciate in value over time and it's something that you could just buy and store if you got the room that's you know the big question of the of the century there because it is a little bit bulky and spacious being a side table um, so yeah that's my thoughts on that it's dope um, I'm not the biggest fan of the visual of just stacks of supreme bogo stickers personally because i have a fat stack of my own for buying so much supreme i'm sure i'm not alone on that one my boys um but yeah i still love it because it actually is uh utility based um i can actually use it a lot uh but yeah it's a skip for me next we have the big logo beanies and these are just really clean hats guys super clean hats um, we got the Navy, let me try to zoom out a little bit here for you guys, um, there we go, we got the green, the Navy, yellow, red, black, of course, um, then we kind of got these plaid black and white, and then almost like a yellowish brown, I'm sure it's brown though, um, beanie, so, they're clean they're dope personally i love the purple the purple pops the most for me i think that'll fly um but again that's not the the item that i'm wanting this week um or two of them it's not one of the two items i'm wanting this week so cool beanies for sure if you're not looking to spend that much nab one of them man um but purple i think will fly most or fastest obviously black will will also be there um and I'm not sure about the other colors. Next, we have the Guadalupe or Guadalupe um, leather keychain. So the big thing about this, and I'm sure it's not a secret, is that it's hand painted. So these will be very limited, hand painted. I mean, look at the detail on this, guys. And it's only what 38 bucks. Um, yeah, 38 bucks. So, very profitable um, and solid investment. It's hand painted. Uh, so, there will not that be that many of these. I don't really care for it personally. Um, I do really think it's cool that they actually did that. Um, someone is actually putting in the time and the effort to do it. But I'm good on it. I don't really need that on my keychain. And I don't want it just laying around. So I'm good on that, but it is cool they're they're doing hand painted. And we come to the first item that I actually want, and it's the the salvage uh, jean loose fit. And I want it in black. So there's your classic blue color, um, and you know it's got that washed vibe. The washed vibe has been in for quite a good bit now, and I don't have a washed pair of jeans currently like this in black, and I just think it would be dope to wear. And, um, yeah, I copped the Stone Island, which I love Stone Island, collab with Supreme last week, that trucker jacket. Yeah, I know. It was like six, seven hundred. But, uh, 
that was like the item that I splurged on. Um, and I, I, I got in black. So I think it'll be dope with this. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm getting size 34, 288. I know it, it took me some pondering, guys. I had to think about it. Um, but I want them. I think it's a good investment because I don't have jeans loose fit washed like this vibe. Um, so that's my item. That's the item that I want first and foremost. Um, is the black in um, 34 size. So that'll run me up to about 3, 310, 315 maybe. I know it ain't cheap, guys. And then next, we got the NYC Coaches or Coaches uh, jacket. So these are dope. These are really dope. Um, I was a little a uh, bit wondering if I should go in for the where is it where's my boy there it is the black the black and white jacket that's slick with the gray inside lining um, man what the hell is going on with this damn thing there we go but I think this is super clean if you want to go for this I think it will certainly appreciate in value if you get the black. It is so clean, guys. Um, and a coat like this, this is, this is nice. But I, unfortunately, I just want the jeans and um, these shoes. So I'm a sneakerhead too, guys. Low key, not as hypey um, as sneakerheads, generally speaking, as uh, you know, maybe the the, the, the stigma is. But I do really want these. These are, is it Baroque or Brock? Brown? Whatever it is, it's a darker brown. I think it's a really cool shade of brown too. Um, and I've seen some pictures. I think they're slick. Um, and I want these. I don't care for the Supreme Laces that they put in them. Um, but I just, I think they're really cool guys. So I really want these, see those Supreme laces? I'm good on that, but you know, when you're feeling saucy, you can go ahead and sauce it up. Um, so yeah, I like the just the brown laces. I think these are super clean. I really want these, uh, size 11. And those are probably gonna be kinda hard to get. So I gotta be quick about it. Um, that's why the jeans and those uh, Air Force Ones in the brown, obviously, in size 11 that's what i hope to get and i will be doing a life cop guys i guarantee it this time uh because i just i know it's it's just cold and rainy this week and uh work is seriously winding down so all righty um i won't go through all of these like i typically don't um but i will go through these hoodies because i think these are dope too i really like the brown guys well, shit, I like the purple too. Purple's dope. Um, UNC, obviously, if you're feeling UNC, still go for it. But I think that brown is dope. Man, my computer's like all over the place. That brown is salute. Um, so if anything, I'd go with the olive or the brown. But you know, I'm I'm more of an earthy brown kind of color in general. So obviously, I'm a bit. Uh, subjective obviously we all are man uh but i would choose definitely brown over olive but olive is dope too um then i know my dog nathan's gonna want that camo probably uh, but these are the small bogos uh, not a surprise we get these quite often different variations um, i'm good on these uh the olive dope though if you're wanting something olive supreme some drip um, some low key fire because I still think that olive is fire. If you want one of these, I would definitely go olive. Um, and I think that about does it, guys. Uh, I mean, we got this leather. This is a leather car coat. Dang. All black. See, when they make something like this, that's just so, like, it's just all black. Like, I, I wouldn't even be able to tell it's Supreme. Um, I just don't get it, you know? 
why not put a little bit more effort in adding those, you know, just embossed or embroidered. You could put that in black, but at least do it so we can see it. Um, but yeah, it's a pass. Uh, we got the velvet suit. I thought this was kind of cool that they're doing this, but I ain't gonna drop. I'm up to the 600. That's not actually that bad for a whole suit, but still, it doesn't have much Supreme branding, so not that interested at all. Um, the other stuff, not feeling. Um, and I guess we'll take a quick look at these jackets, embroidered jackets, which there's a decent amount of hype for. I mean, it's it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. Um, I'd probably go with the navy because you got that night nice supreme touch on the front, and man, that that inside lining in the navy looks nice. But I don't know, the black looks better for the back though. Huh. But up to you guys. I think it's cool, but not my cup of tea. For the price, it's really not terrible. About 300 bucks. Yeah, that's not terrible for embroidered. Dang. That's kind of hard to uh, to accept, knowing that my jeans cost the same price. We ain't getting embroidered. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah. So that's my thoughts on this week, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a you know, great Halloween. I hope you guys had a great trick or treat. Take the kids out if you got them. Um, I know my dog's been just wanting Hulu-ween, Halloween, spooky season. And so we're just flying through Saul today. Saul, OG number one, a savage. I caught the ending of that because he's just been watching the whole and uh, savage. And uh, yeah, I mean, the later Saul's, I don't know, they kind of just slipped away and did their own thing. I don't know. When you make too many of something, they just kind of, uh, they just wash away in all sorts of different areas. And it's just not the same. You guys know what I'm saying. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Um, take care of yourselves. Tell me what you're getting this week. The side table is dope. The beanies are dope. The hand painted little keychain, that's just cool because that took a lot of time. And you got to be pretty good with that if you're painting something so small. Um, but yeah, I'm going for the, the washed black jeans in size 34. And then hopefully I, I, I hit on those uh, Air Force One Browns in the size 11. So yeah, without further ado, that's my thoughts and my take on this week and what I'm going to get. I wish you guys the best of luck. And until next time, I very much love you guys. See ya.